Good afternoon, I'm Ed Pozzuoli, President of Trip Scott, and we're here for another edition of a webcast. And today, we're joined by Florida's Attorney General, Pam Bondi. Pam, welcome. Thank you. Well, Pam, it's been an exciting couple of years for you, and I know that you bring such enthusiasm to the job. Talk to us a little bit about the priorities that you've set in your office since you were elected. First, um, when, I, when I was running for office, I learned that we had a horrible pill mill problem in our state. And, that so and many, in Broward. In, in Broward, of course, um, and throughout the state, and that seven Floridians were dying a day. So um, um, we fought together with, with the legislature and the governor, and we passed great legislation and now have some of the toughest laws in the country um, hopefully, regarding pill mills, and we've been doing our best to put them out of business in our state. Well, I can tell you in Broward, we used to be ground zero for pill mills, and now you've basically, through the legislation and your efforts, completely eradicated the pill mill industry in Broward. So, thank you. Well, we, it's a team effort, and we've all been working so hard and, and, and to, to fight pill mills, and because we can't have our kids overdosing like they were. I, I found it interesting, as a, as a father of uh, three teenagers, uh, synthetic drug issue yes. coming up. Explain what that is to our viewers first. And this is so important for parents to know because this stuff is packaged in small square metal packaging and it used to be different but now they're targeting younger kids. It'll have a smiley face on it, it'll have the Joker, Batman, it'll be called cotton candy and if you touch the package it feels like cotton candy. If parents, if I saw this in my nephew's backpack I wouldn't think twice about it had I not known. And they call it bath salt, synthetic marijuana. It'll say not for human consumption. But what this really is, it is synthetic LSD, heroin, acid. It's so lethal. It's so addictive. And that's the new drug among our children. And what has your office done to try to protect Floridians? Well, one of the first things I did when I took office was sign an emergency order to outlaw these compounds because what, it was legal. They were selling the stuff in convenience stores right. because it was synthetic. And so now these creative chemists in Asia and now in our country are changing the compounds up to make it legal and we're still signing emergency orders and the legislature, of course, is unanimously um, passing the legislation to outlaw these compounds. So now it's really moved under the counter where you have unscrupulous clerks selling this junk to our kids, but we are determined to put them out of business. Uh, let me switch gears from a business standpoint, was the mortgage for, uh, fraud uh, cases against some of the bigger lenders. Yes. Explain a little bit about that. Well, we, um, I was on the executive committee, and it was, of course, um, every state um, in, in the country. We were all involved in it. And I was on the executive committee. In Florida, we ended up receiving the second largest settlement in the country, and we're, we're very proud of that. Um, to help homeowners. And unlike um, some other states, here in Florida, we worked closely with the legislature to be sure that the majority of the settlement money is going back into our state, Such not as, just into general revenue. But into what program? Affordable housing, um, housing for the homeless, legal counseling for people who are having their homes um, foreclosed. Uh, so, so we're doing a lot of great things with that, um, thanks to, to the help of the legislature and the governor as well. In reading some of the other priorities of your office, uh, you know, we don't get, unless you're personally touched by human trafficking, it, you think about that's, that doesn't really belong in our country, that's not really a problem here, but what, you're, what your office suggests is it is a problem. Ed, people used to think you would only see it in a movie, like the, right. the movie Taken with right. Liam Neeson. It is so real. Of the calls to the National Human Trafficking Hotline, nationally, Florida ranks third, and it has to stop. So we passed some legislation to give my statewide prosecutors the authority to do wiretaps. Right after the governor signed it, we went up on a wire. We have three defendants, 16 victims. We're making human trafficking cases. We're working hand-in-hand -hand with our great state attorneys here in Broward, Miami, all over the state, as well as the U.S. attorneys. And it's a true team effort. But we have got to put these guys out. of It's a modern-day slavery, and right. it's a sex trade. And many of them are runaways, um, young girls and boys, but, but mainly young girls. And it's, um, it's horrific, but it's real. And at least now so many people are involved and want to get involved, and we need more safe houses in our state. 
We're working on that. And, and you're about to see a huge campaign come out from an from education office, standpoint, from an educational standpoint for parents right. um, on cyber safety and kids even being recruited off the Internet. That's how, that's how bad this has become. And so so we're working very hard um, to protect Floridians and children in our state. Let me switch gears a little bit. I mean, we've talked uh, a number of in a number of webcasts about regulation and the burdens of regulation on business. Uh, in Florida, it, has your office been able to address some of the regulation that's coming out of Washington to protect the business atmosphere that I know that drives jobs here in Florida? Have you been involved in any of those issues? Absolutely. And working with other attorneys general, that's something that was so important to me. Um, we're, we're all about protecting consumers and also our good businesses. And what's happening is the federal government's coming in and just basically over-regulating um, our states. And, and of course, we, we um, fought Obamacare, as you know. Right. We've taken on the EPA with the numeric nutrient criteria issue that was holding Florida to higher water standards. Um, and DEP joined with us in that fight, Department of Environmental Protection, um, to protect Floridians and businesses who really would have had unsustainable water standards had all of this gone through. And the NLRB, we joined in, um, you know, with South Carolina to, to, to fight on the with Boeing South issue. Carolina on the Boeing issue. So, you know, you want to be so proactive um, as Attorney General, but you also have to be reactive and protect our state and our state's rights. Now, with such enthusiasm and a full agenda of priorities and some of the great achievements that you've had, you won another four years as Attorney General. I've lost my mind. You yeah. lost your mind. So I take it you've officially announced that you're going to run for re-election? I have, yes. So what are the priorities for the next term uh, as you see them? To keep going, to keep protecting kids. Um, again, we're about to announce this huge human trafficking campaign. And, and we know we still have a war on drugs. And, right. and, you know, when you take away one, an unintended consequence, of course, is you go to another drug. And so we're working hard on that. Um, we're still working hard on, on expectant mothers who are delivering babies born addicted to prescription drugs and, and trying to educate them. Um, bullying is an issue that, that, that I'm obsessed with now and, and we're it's, it's something new every day that I want to do we want to help kids we want to help our citizens we want to consumer protection mortgage fraud um, Medicaid fraud um, Medicaid, Medicaid fraud is a big issue in South Florida and it's a huge issue and that's one of your priorities here in South Florida how, how do you I mean what kind of teams do you need to you know fare through all the documents and sift through all that? Well, of course, going to manage care, um, we're looking to hire as many um, forensic accountants as we can and investigators with those skills. And I restructured that unit. Um, I was down in my Miami office and saw a lot of empty offices and lights off and did an internal review of that unit. And now my chief investigator, who was based in Tallahassee, I, I have a new chief investigator, and he's based in South Florida. Ground zero, right. and um, we're we're hiring more investigators for that unit. And as you read, we're we're making um, as many Medicaid um, fraud cases as we can because that affects our businesses and that affects our consumers and our taxpayers. Now, for purposes of our viewers, uh, Attorney General also sits on the cabinet. You're one of four cabinet members. You also sit on the clemency board, mm -hmm. obviously, and you sit on uh, the, you basically oversee the pension Florida State Pension State Plan. Board of Administration, right? Yes. So talk a little bit about some of those issues and um, at least education wise as to what kinds of things you see in that role. Well, of course, the Florida cabinet, um, Florida is a very unique um, yeah. form of government because, of course, we only have four of us on the Florida cabinet, the governor, the attorney general, the ag commissioner and the chief financial officer. Right. And we work very hard every day to, um, to, to study land issues, land acquisition, um, protecting our environment, protecting the Everglades, all the state lands. Right. Um, the, there are so many issues that, that, that we cover um, as, a, as the Florida cabinet. And then the State Board of Administration, the governor, the attorney general, and the chief financial officer um, comprise the State Board of Administration. And that's soon to be the third largest pension fund in the country. So we take that um, very seriously and work very hard to protect Floridians' money there. The clemency board, of course, we spend long, long hours, my staff and I, reviewing each and every case, um, 
when people want their rights restored. And, and you can watch those on the Florida Channel, the right. clemency hearings. Right. And, um, and I think you, you see a lot of happy people um, who do get their rights restored at the clemency and hearings. And some who don't. And some who don't. Some who keep committing crimes. But, but, but you know, I think I invite Floridians to, to watch the Florida Channel and watch what we do at cabinet meetings and clemency hearings and state board of administration meetings. Well, uh, Mr. Attorney General, we wish you well. And your, uh, your efforts, your enthusiasm, your energy, your knowledge, uh, you're uh, obviously protecting Floridians from all kinds of uh, ills of society in a certain sense. But uh, more importantly, I, I know that you're working hard with making sure, uh, along with the governor, making sure that the economy in Florida keeps running ahead of the national norms That's and right. bring jobs here. So uh, with that, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ed.